What's going on, everyone, and welcome to the Urban Pitch Podcast, part of the Believe Podcast Network. I'm Ramsey Abujala, editor of UrbanPitch.com, and I'm joined by my co-host, the one, the only, Julio Monterosa. Julio, how are we doing tonight? Hey, we're doing great, man. Beautiful Friday night. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so, uh, you know, it's been a while since we've been on the air last. Uh, we switched a few things up. Like I mentioned earlier, we, we joined the Believe Podcast Network. Shout out to Believe. Shout out to Believe. We're coming to you live from the LA Tinos headquarters here in the heart of Los Angeles. Shout out to LA Tinos. Shout and, out to my family. Yes, sir. Their family. Family at this point. And, uh, you know, today being uh, being the first episode uh, in a while, we thought, you know, we just give you an introduction on, on who we are as your co-hosts, what to expect from the podcast um, moving forward. You know, we're really excited to be uh, to be back and, 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 you know, we hope you, you stay along for the journey. But uh, before we get into that, you know, you already know we got a best sponsor. It's our first episode back, and we already got a best sponsor. That's how we do things around here. Hey, man. Go big or go home. Yes, sir. Julio, tell the people at home what we're drinking tonight. We're drinking Maku. Yes, sir. That's right. Tonight's episode is brought to you by Maku, America's first craft Maku Lee. Uh, what, what's that? Julio, you, you asked, what, what's Maku Lee? What's, what's Maku Lee? Well, Maku Lee, if, if you're culture, if you're as cultured as uh, Julio and I, you know that uh, Maku Lee is Korea's oldest alcoholic beverage. It's brewed in Korea with only the finest natural ingredients. Comes in four flavors, including original, passion fruit, mango, and blueberry. And get this, it's gluten-free for all you bread-free folks. Hey, man, we got to be healthy. 2022, uh, no, healthy. Uh, not here. only healthy, but uh, I, I know, I know I, I'm know, i not gluten-free myself. I know, the, I know the struggle firsthand. I don't know how you guys do it. Uh, my girlfriend, she's, she's gluten-free. So uh, I know when she sees, you know, gluten-free alcoholic beverages, uh, she gets a little bit uh, excited about it. Because, you know, beer, you can't, you can't have beer. You can't not have some vodka. But, uh, you know, Maku's gluten-free. They, they, they do it right. And it's tasty as And well. it's tasty. Yeah, we just had some before, uh, exactly. before we started recording. Um, but, um, and also, you know, it's Korean. Uh, and I don't know if you know this, but if you have Korean homies, you know, uh, you haven't really drank until you drunk with uh, uh, Koreans. They, 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 they Korean, know how to do it. So, you know, you know Maku's party. doing it right. They, they can party, man. Uh, so, if you guys want to learn more, you can check out, you can check out uh, Maku's Instagram at, at drinksool. That's at drink, S-O-O-L, on Instagram. Uh, shout out to Maku for, for sponsoring the podcast. Shout out to Maku and please follow them. Yeah. You guys would not be sorry. Yeah. All right. Uh, Julio, you ready to get started today? Let's get it going. Yes, sir. All right. So uh, like I mentioned, you know, it's, it, it's been a while. It's been a while. You know, a, a coronavirus kind of threw, threw a wrench in, in, in the podcast, but we're glad to be back. Uh, you know, we got a brand new studio set up, uh, you know, a couple of new, new, new co-hosts. So, you know, um, just wanted to give you a little bit of background on who we are and what to expect from the podcast. If, if, if you're new here, welcome. If you were following the show before, welcome back. Um, in terms of like uh, 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 the uh, subject and the topics that we're going to cover, we're, it's still going to be pretty much the same in terms of uh, soccer culture and, um, uh, you know, art, fashion, music, everything that goes um, goes on with, with, with the beautiful game and, and, and the outside culture around that. We're still going to have guests uh, today. We, we don't have a guest, but we will have guests coming to you in the future. At this uh, point, it, it's just us. You're going to get to meet us, the personalities that we are, <laughs> the party animal that I try to be sometimes. Yeah. You know, I mean, we, we figured we, we'd start you off slow and, and then bring on the guests. We got we got a lot of guests, a lot of, a lot of good great guests, guests uh, lined up, whether it's pro players, artists, musicians, the whole shebang. Um, but, uh, you know, I just thought, you know, just to start things off, it would be good to, to kind of to just give us a, a little bit of background. But, you know, if, if I had to boil everything down to, into one into one kind of tagline, it would be two washed college athletes uh, bringing you the best in, in, in soccer culture. Uh, that's right. You know, if you couldn't tell, we're, we are college athletes. We were college athletes. Were, I were. That's, a great, were, were. that's a great word. Yeah, yeah. He played yeah. he played soccer. I played baseball. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit more newer to this 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 whole soccer thing. But since since Julio, since you, you since you you, you kind of grew up here in L.A. playing soccer, uh, why don't you give people a little bit of background of, of who you are, where you grew up, and uh, how, how you came, uh, what, what your soccer journey is. Definitely, definitely. Just a kid from South Central L.A. growing up playing in 41 in Compton. The dirt fields that all now are all turf. Um, so growing up there, then I went to go play for two years at Arizona Western College. It's a JUCO outside of California, but JUCOs out of California give you full scholarship. So got a full ride to play at Arizona Western. From there, I transferred out to HIU. Didn't have the best career there, but uh, still made it happen a little bit. What's HIU for the, for HIU, the folks HIU, Hope International University. Small Christian school right in front of Cal State Fullerton. Um, yeah, after that, just try to play pickup from time to time. Yeah, you playing? You, you still playing pickup today? I try, man. It's like yeah. less movement, more screaming. 
Yeah, more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And the legs, you know. <laughs> the legs ain't doing the it. The legs, you know. How, how old are you now? The 32, 32, 32 years, years yeah, young. The, the legs aren't what they were when they're 20. Oh, they're man, 22, man. Yeah. I'm trying to have them make the stallion knees, but I can't no, no more, man. Bro. They you're, hurt. You're not that bad. You're <laughs> no. not that bad. Is it? <laughs> yeah, they I mean, but the stallion uh, knees are yeah, amazing. Yeah, because I, I, I know, I know, I play, I play pickup too. That's the the extent to, to how much I play. I play. Uh, I was playing in the league. Shout out to the base. Shout R- out to the R- base. R.I.P. to the base. R.I.P. to the uh, base. Yeah, but we we were playing there. Uh, you know, we were getting our we were getting our grand on on uh, uh, you know Monday co-ed leagues, Tuesday Thursday pickups. Um, you know, I was playing in the league here and there. I, Busted my hip, mm. you know, but I'm still trying. I'm still grinding. We're, we're what still position grinding. were you playing when you pick up, though? So you I, can you play, people I can only play keeper. Can, I can exactly. only play keeper. I can't. I cannot. <laughs> so I, like I said, I grew up playing baseball. I grew up here in, in L.A. to the Valley. That's L.A. Stop playing the with valley. me. Stop playing with the Valley. All right, is, all right. Is, let, is, let, 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 our first episode, we got to tell the viewers, the Valley is not L.A. Bro, I swear. Come on. Uh, no, once, no, no, no. once you jump off the 405 and you pass UCLA, once you hit Santa Monica. That's not No, but I'm saying once you pass Santa Monica... Anything after that is not LA, bro. bro. Okay, you're you're taking out the whole West Side. Your your geography is West. There's Technically, no West Side. once you once you cross the 101, then you're in the Valley. Once Technically, you... that's not LA though. All right, whatever, dude. No, no, no. no. A, all right, two one three. Okay, two one three. All right. So when you go tell people when you if you would have went to college out of state and you would have told people, hey, I'm from the Valley, they would have asked, where's that at? You'd have been uh, like LA. No, I, so okay, this is this is this how I this how right. I describe it. From people in LA, I say I'm from the Valley. I, I I separate that, you know, but because you it, know it, it's a separation. It is, but it's the still part of, not, But if it's if I'm talking to anybody else who doesn't really know the difference, I say I'm from LA. Shout out to the A one A. You guys have great Sorry, no. great programs. Okay, listen, you're not listen, LA, listen, but listen, listen, we, listen. we can argue about this all day. So let's just keep it going. No, 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 here, listen, you're not gonna win this just, argument. Just listen. All right, we're far from everything. It's hot as hell. I love it. If if you don't like it, stay out. I don't want you in the valley. I honestly, I like it. It's quiet. Shout out to the you know valley. I mean, uh, shout out to the valley. So I grew up. That's where I grew up. I had a girl right there. Shout out to the valley. Shout out to the valley. Uh, uh, all right, but no, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll leave it there. We'll it's leave not even there. We'll even go there. Right. Um, yeah. So grew up playing baseball. I played. I mean, I played all sports. Going. I played. Shout out to AYSL. I played AYSL. AYSL. Shout um, out to AYSL. It, it, it didn't take me long to figure out I was bad though. <laughs> I, I mean, when you're playing defender, when you're six years old, seven years old, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. The sport's not for you. You usually you usually move, make your way back as you get older. <laughs> I was already start. I was left Started. back at six years old, bro. Like that's the, you those, know those are the positions for the kids that are looking at the sky. Bro, I was picking grass. <laughs> I was kicking dirt. I, I was oh, not good. I, I instantly you know it didn't take long to, for me to, to retire. Out. So you know I I, I made way. I played basketball. I played football. Um, but baseball was kind of the sport to me that um, you know it 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 kind of is is, is where I I found myself most. Um, you know, I wasn't really a gifted athlete growing up. I was kind mm-hmm. of a late bloomer. It didn't take me to like, you know, junior year of high school to Ooh. kind of figure out. What uh, high school did you go to? Shout out Taft. Shout, shout out, out T Taft. House, baby. Hey man, they O'Shea brought Jordan Jackson. Farmer. Jordan Farmer gave Bro, the championship. Jordan Farmer, Spencer Dinwiddie. Let me let me tell you, we had some we had some hoopers that go to that went to Taft. Baseball, not not See? not as much. Shout out Gabe Kapler. Gabe Kapler, right. manager of the, the San Francisco Giants. Definitely. I hate um, the Giants. Hey, first of all, let's let's keep this clear real quick. I'm in LA. I love LA. The Giants. You guys are cocky people. No shout out to the Giants. All right, reverse shout out to the Giants. All right, <laughs> reverse shout out to the Giants. Yeah, so so I so you know played baseball through college. I uh, went to Cal Lutheran. Shout out to Cal Loop in Thousand Oaks. Shout out to the Christian schools. Shout out to the Christian schools, baby. That's Definitely. what we do. They they send the good kids to, to the Christian schools. You know, shout out to the Christian schools. Um, yeah, so played there for for a little bit. Um, didn't really get into soccer. I, I mean, I was not grown up. Um, you know, I watched the World Cup. I, I was you know as casual of a soccer fan as as there could be. Um, but you know, after I graduated, I found urban pitch. Um, I always had a, uh, an interest for fashion, for music. I was always listening to music. I was always playing music. Um, I was a sneakerhead, you know, in, in middle school and high school. Um, you know, I kind of, kind of waned away from that in high school. Once I figured out, you know, Vans are like 45 bucks. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, they get the job. But they look like it. sneakers. And they, they do look like sneakers. Shout <laughs> out the pack. Shout, Shout out, out the, the pack. pack. Um, they're from the Bay. Right. The yeah, so, so I always had, I always had the, you know, kind of interests that um we at urban pitch cover and i didn't i didn't really know and so i I saw you know i came across the site i saw what they were covering and that you know soccer was interconnected through all of this so um that's kind of how i got into soccer was through the cultural side which is i mean i think how a lot of people are starting to get to it now especially in the u.s where where that's growing you got a whole lot of people um across the country that are um 
that are doing great things. Um, shout out to Gorilla FC. Shout out to you know. Shout out to Football Boutique. Shout, shout out, out to, to Football Boutique. They have you know amazing stuff. They got some. They got some good gear. We, we were selling this. Uh, Man, Urban that shirt on there for goes, a little bit. Uh, I, 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 like, I got a plain shirt. And you got. Yeah, I know. I got. No, I got. I got. Hey, rep, next I episode, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step it up. I'm gonna step I it up. The set for those of you listening. I'm wearing the the exclusive Icarus FC um, Urban Pitch jersey that was released Man, exclusively through the Football. You gotta show it to the camera at least one time. Yeah, you know, I got. I got a lot of details on it. A lot of details. You know, shout out to Icarus. They do a lot of good things for based in Philadelphia. Um, I gotta apologize right now. I gotta step up. I gotta step up my you jersey. Gotta step game. Your game up, yeah, bro. definitely. You're game real plain. You got the you got yeah, the fake gold chain on. Though. Fake gold chain, baby. Yeah, you gotta fake it till you make it. Though. <laughs> episode seven, I'm gonna get in the real one. Episode seven, we're gonna <laughs> get you a bezel. We're gonna get you a bust <laughs> you down. Go. Episode seven. Bust down. Yes, sir. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, but I mean, you know, so I'm, I'm I'm starting to get more into it. You know, obviously. Being the editor at Urban Pitching, you know, I'm, I'm watching the game a lot more. I started to pick a few teams. I, I was subtle. You just let everybody know I'm the man. Uh, I mean, I'm the editor. I do what, everything. I mean, that's yeah. a fact. That's a factual hey, hey, statement. Go to the website. Go to the website. It's Ur- a factual Urban statement. UrbanPitch.com. Hey, look at all the, all the articles on the bottom of my picture of my face. Good for you, bro. Hey, man. Don't, don't be mad at me. <laughs> don't be mad at me for that. What did the MLS do wrong now? Next, nah, hey, that's not me. That's not me. That's not me. <laughs> what I'm, did the MLS I'm, do wrong? <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. I, I, I am not. That's that. that that's not me. We so have, today, we the, today, in Urban voice. Pitch, the MLS did this wrong. <laughs> no, bro. Listen, we 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 foster independent voices on our side. I'm not here to censor anybody. If they got some thoughts, if they back it up with facts. You know what I mean? I let I let it fly. I'm not. Why I'm does not, the USL do not work for the MLS, bro? I mean, <laughs> shout out to we're John. not we're not show, we're not corporate shows for MLS. We're not. I mean, you know, I like the league. It's got its no, flaws. Yeah. We're no, gonna point man. them out. I'm not here to 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 to, to sell out for them, but definitely, definitely, um, yeah. So, uh, you know, I've been watching the game more. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I've been I've been watching Champions. But before league. we go on that, so you say you just got into soccer now. Um, what do you see the difference from like how long ago did you get into soccer? Um, so, I mean, it would have been when I started late 2016 after I graduated college. So, um, yeah, there's a big difference from 2016 to now. Yeah, I mean, Do I you think, see the difference? Yeah, I mean, obviously being around it a lot more, you, you start to be aware of things that mm-hmm. you might not have been before. So a lot of this stuff was already here. There was already, you know, a good amount of... of I mean, you know, American soccer history goes back. It goes back. I mean, people say it's new here. It's, it really isn't. I mean, It really is not. I mean, we were in the World Cup. Like the OG World Cup, the one of the like, first World Cups. You yes. know what I mean? Like, uh, and and we were we, we 30, 19, 30 something. something. Like yeah, that. something. I, I don't have the dates. Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm not about to talk about stuff I don't know. You hey, know what I mean? shout I'm out to the history majors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, relatively speaking, compared to other sports here, you know, soccer hasn't been as it's not the the, the culture around soccer is not what it is around you know NFL, MLB, um, uh, NBA. I, although you could argue, I mean, MLB. You know what I mean? Like it's. it's, it's, it's I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's it's much, it's much better to go watch it, physically than watch it through TV. It's kind of boring. Right. Kind yeah, of long. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Right. If you're yeah, watching, it, I mean, if you're watching an MLB game in August, like, what are you doing? Like, let's be real. Drunk. Let's be real. What are you doing? If you're watching on TV, uh, a a a, a mid season MLB game, bro. Like, there's something wrong. No, and the reason I bring it up is because. Growing up playing soccer in uh, South Central, I come from dirt fields. Mm. Now there's no more dirt fields, all turf, and it's right. beautiful, man. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you definitely see a lot more. There's a lot more courts that uh, MLS teams are starting to do, and, and Hawthorne, I know LA Galaxy did it. Did a South court Central there. LA, uh, LAFC uh, got LAFC, a few. LAFC, LAFC did a did a project Shout out with to Watts. Yeah. Uh, I think Watts Foundation, uh, Watts Sticks. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I see so, him. I see him doing his thing. Shout out to Sticks. Uh, Jeff Guvia painted that court. Shout out to Jeff Guvia. Um, but yeah, so I mean. Now that I'm watching the game, something that helped me was um, the teams that I picked. Um, so I, I, I picked, you know, a certain amount of teams that, you know, kind of got me more invested in the game. Definitely, so definitely. That, that kind of takes us. I'm trying to segue. You keep interrupting me, but sorry, brother. I'm trying, I'm trying to make this, you know, a natural segue, and you keep put a sexy voice, and I believe you. Know, you. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Hey, I'm not gonna do that. One eight hundred. Yeah. Hey man, you listen. You you're watching TV too late, bro. Like I I don't know anything about that. Shout um, out to the episode after South Park Channel Nine. <laughs> but so this isn't this is what I was trying to set up. We're gonna give you the teams that we that that we uh, support. That way, you know, we're gonna set this up for for future episodes. We're gonna check in on our teams in the Champions League. Um, you know, ch- checking how we're doing. You know, we can start talking smack to each other. Um, so Julio, I know you've been, you, you grew up out here. What, what, what are some of the teams that, that you support? Definitely. Right. Um, from what I can remember, Real Madrid was one of my favorite teams, uh, teams growing up. The Galacticos, Asidan, Ronaldo, uh, Roberto Carlos, man, Robinho, just Zidane, Zidane, man, Beckham, oh, Beckham, baller. 
Um, just growing up watching them play. Also, Juventus. Juventus, mm-hmm. they had Del Piero. Yeah. Uh, yeah they, got some, they got some swaggy they, players. They, they had some swaggy players. And now that we have McKinney in there, yeah. got to rep the yeah. U.S. So, um, he's that, a baller, bro. He's so... Guy, he, I mean, yeah, he's, he's better guy. than Pulisic. I, he's better than Pulisic. I've been, I've been screaming for that for the last... Five months and everybody's calling me crazy. No, Pelucci's the wonder kid. No, I mean, don't get me wrong. He's he's good. I but mean, like, see, it, see, but... The, so is, for me, McKinney and Tyler Adams. Uh, Tyler Adams. Ty, nice. He's feisty, he's nice. bro. He's nice. He like I, I like I'm not gonna say I was the cleanest player growing up. So like every time I've I seen see, you play now, you're not the cleanest. No, 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 no. I can't run, but I can throw an elbow. But uh, <laughs> 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 it's easy to do that. <laughs> No, but uh, no, Tyler Adams is just a workhorse. He's not going to take on seven people on, but he's going to do every little dirty play to make it happen. So, yeah, uh, Juventus and Real Madrid were my two favorite teams growing up. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't really have that luxury of, or not luxury, but the, the interest of, you know, growing up. Because, I mean, me, like, I'm a Lakers fan. I grew up. Shout out to the Lakers. Shout out, I, mean, I mean, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little it, bit it's, tough it's for It's a us, sensitive topic right but, now, but, uh, you know. Go Lakers. Uh, all the yeah. way. We've had enough good times to uh-huh. where, you know, a, a bad season every once in a while. Yeah, whatever, we can be a Clipper right? a season so, or two. So, yeah, like, I mean, like you grew up watching those guys. You idolize those guys. And, and, and that kind of gives you a deeper connection to Definitely. them. Definitely. Just like, it, I mean, Kobe, Shaq, oh my. Pau Gasol. Oh. Like all those Lakers, growing, like, those Lakers teams growing up. You Even know. Xavier Henry that one season, we, Bro. we thought he was going to be good. Bro, uh, <laughs> those those dark years, I was, I was like, uh, you know, I thought uh, Devin Ebanks was going to be an Ooh, all-star. Ebanks. I uh, thought uh, Earl Clark was going to be an all-star. Clark. Earl Clark. <laughs> if you didn't I have thought, the off-the-court issues, though, <laughs> everybody thought he was going to be good. Bro, I, I thought they, I was so brainwashed. Now I kind of I feel like I've distanced myself a little bit, but it was but a, those dark years, um, like in the in the late or the the, the early 2010s. Yes, like uh, after uh, after that 2013. Uh, yeah, after I mean that was the last kind of good year when when Kobe tore 12, 12, 12, his Achilles. 12. Now it was 2013. 2013, all right. 2012 to 2013. That was the team with Dwight Howard. That team. Uh, Every preseason, I'll be high, like for media day. The Lakers, the Lakers, yeah, and I'm like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so those you know I thought uh, what was his name Ramon Sessions. I thought he was gonna be Come a player, on. bro. So, I hate that guy, bro. Yeah, so I was I was on that that narcotic. He didn't want to play with Kobe, so forget narcotic. that guy. Yeah, no, no, but but so I didn't I didn't have that because I right. didn't I didn't really watch growing up. But now, um, you know, I love watching um, certain players like, um, and I think for me being like having a uh, coming from like a cultural side, like being being into that, like I love the teams that make an effort to kind of do stuff off the pitch. Definitely, um, you know, PSG is one of them. I know, Ooh, you know, uh, they're going back to that fashion. You know, you, I mean, I'm I'm coming into this a little bit later. I know it's kind of like uh, looked down. They're kind of looked down upon as a team, you know, with uh, with Saudi money that are just buying players left and right. They haven't won a Champions League yet. They're still kind of yeah, looking that, for that's, it. That's a, that's it's going to happen. I think it's, it's going to happen. Yes. I love. I mean, especially you know, the team they have right now. But they got a good squad. They got a good team. But I mean, more importantly, they they got vibes. You know, the, their jerseys are always the Chicago Bull S jersey. I know, oh. bro, the, the, they just dropped a fourth kit with the the Bulls vibes on on the shorts. They're doing stuff, you know, with with Jordan. They they got they got some certain Jordan. They're bringing uh, the culture into soccer, and it's like, right. I mean, it's great. I mean, for I mean, they they made a conscious effort to do that to Definitely. become like the, the the fashion, the most fashionable team of football or, or soccer. Um, and so you know, teams like that, AS Roma in Italy. I I, I don't I don't really watch too much Italian uh, soccer, um, but you know, AS Roma does a great job. They've always had fire kits. Um, they, they're doing some really cool stuff with New Balance. Um, you know, they, they got Ameri- fly nowhere. They got Americans. Um, they got a couple of Americans on their team, or at least one from, from Dallas. I forget his name. What's his name? Brian? FC Dallas, man. FC Dallas, bro. They're, they're carrying American soccer. That, they that they are the crazy. academy of, of the U.S. That, that academy is crazy. But yeah, so I mean, teams like that, um, in the Premier League, you know, um, I, I saw, I visited Chelsea, uh, Stanford Bridge Stadium. Ooh. So I kind of have a connection to them. They just won Champions League. So um, I, it's hello, been hard, Governor. It, yeah, hello, hello <laughs> Governor. Um, it's been kind of hard for me to, to harder for me to pick a Premier team to, to a Premier League team to watch. I mean, I love watching Liverpool. I love watching Man City and the way they do. I just if, I feel guilty picking them as, definitely as a team. You know, I don't want to be a front runner. Um, I'm already going with uh, with uh, PSG, but you know, if I had to pick a Premier League team, I think I would, I would pick. I need to get more into it. Is, definitely is what it All is. Right. But no, uh, but see the thing with me with the EPL teams, I'm not, I have not jumped into it. Just because the style of soccer from uh, from La Liga, just that touch, touch, tiki taka soccer is what mm-hmm. I enjoy watching. You're a not lot a big of, long ball dude. I'm not. A lot, a lot of people don't don't like that, but it's nothing better than having that ball on your feet. 
give and go, give and go, making the other team chase. I, sometimes I, I don't care if it's a 0-0 zero, zero or a game. As long as I see that touch, 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 the other team getting so mad that they can't get the ball, it's like monkey in the middle. Yeah. So it's like, it, yeah, that's the type of soccer I, I enjoy growing up playing. To this day, I, when I play, I try to do it like that, but my knees don't let me, but... Yeah. That we gotta, we gotta get him. We gotta get him hey. a, a, a transplant or something, though. I'm trying or to at go. least get him a foam roller or something, man. Yeah, something, man. Hey. Thirty two is not that old. Nah, like, man. you should you shouldn't be having that many knee problems. I had a wild life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I mean, I mean, in the Premier League, like, uh, I mean, Liverpool and Man City play a lot of possession baseball. I know Pep Guardiola, Pep, and, and man, in the club. one of the best. Both of those guys really have ever. like a a, 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 a possession based game where they're not doing the the typical you know definitely of uh, like uber physical like long balls and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I definitely I, I definitely uh, you know see where you're coming from. Um, and you know, in terms of other leagues, other leagues, we're, we're forgetting the most important. Are we, are league. we forgetting? Or I, I, I think we are. I, so before you guys get your your your, uh, your arms up in the air. Passion, passion. Today's episode is brought to you by Bet Online. Football might be over for this season, but basketball is in full steam for both pro and college hoops. From all the latest odds, totals, player performance props, to where the next fired coach is going to land, Bet Online is your number one spot for all your sports betting needs. Head over to the website or use your mobile devices to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code BELIEVE, that's B L E A V, to get started. And it's not just basketball, folks. Bet Online is your source for hockey, boxing, and UFC odds as well. From sports right down to your favorite Vegas casino games, Bet Online is your number one online wagering destination. Bet Online, the fastest and easiest way to wager on all your favorite sports and play your favorite games. Bet Online, where the game starts. Passion, passion. Pop, 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 pop. Um, we. We haven't forgot MLS. MLS, we we have not forgot about you. We we do not ignore MLS. You can't forget household. MLS, man. It's our uh, bread is, and butter, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, as you know, uh, MLS has two. They have they got two teams here in LA. Shout out to LAFC. Shout out, uh, hey, so. shout out to Black and Gold at thirty two fifty two. Hey, I don't want. Hey, sh- all my friends. I'm sorry, Cal State Dominguez Hills. They have a great team, but shout out to LAFC. Yeah, so, so I'm gonna get so much slack for no, that. No, 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 go, go, no, 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 like, go ahead, please. This is time. This is your time right, to talk so, your shit. But no, no, is this a safe place? Is this a safe place? This is a safe place. We're not here. We're Shout not. out to LAFC. Yeah. Shout out to the 3252. The team they have, they came up with this season. We'll see. We'll Championship. See All right. Championship. All right. So, so before we, before we get too far into this, this is this is gonna kick off a, a segment that we're gonna have uh, re- re- repeating through the show is uh, Julio versus. Shout Andrew. out to LAFC. Um. All right, are you, are you done, bro? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right, I'm sorry. Right, let me, Shout let out me. to LAFC one more time. Okay, and we're done. All right, all right, all right, you can go. I think they get it. I think they get it. All right, so bow. This starts. <laughs> this starts a. Uh, you know, we're gonna have this uh, repeating segment throughout the show. Julio versus Rams. We're gonna go back and forth on different debates. Uh, the, the, we're gonna debate on different topics today. Um, you know, we're gonna talk about the two MLS franchises here in Los Angeles. Um, if you didn't, if you couldn't tell, um, Julio is partial to LAFC. Uh, myself, I've not picked a team yet. Uh, we've worked with LAFC and LA Galaxy uh, multiple times. They've got great people on eh. both sides. I'm a coward, though. I, eh. I, 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 no, I'm not going to lie, though. I, so, I, I, I've gone to as much LAFC games I've gone to. I've gone to Galaxy games. Um, so so listen, listen, listen. All right, so I'm impartial, but for today, I'm going eh. to be devil's advocate, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to cape for LA Galaxy. I definitely Because uh, they are LA's original team. Uh, I don't care what you say. Just like the Valley, Carson is part of L.A. Carson <laughs> is Bay. part of L.A. <laughs> South Bay. Hey, hey, Randy Newman said. Shout out to the breweries Randy in South Bay. They got, the, they, got the best, they got the best breweries in South they Bay. Do, they do got some good. <laughs> but yeah. they're not L.A. Listen, listen. Randy Newman said. I'm from Redondo from the South, Beach. From the from South Redondo Bay Beach. to the Valley. From the South Bay to the Valley. We love, we love LA. LA baby. We love LA. He didn't say, he didn't say we, we, we love, you know, we, we're not here to separate. From Diego we're not here to, to the divide. Bay. We're not. Okay, that's, that's. God, dude, that's literally completely different. But we're not here to Shout separate of uh, neighborhood to neighborhood. We're we're here to, to unite. I am. And LA Galaxy. Yeah. First off, they're 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 MLS's premier franchise. They they put MLS on the map. They have the. I mean, when it comes to history, they're uh, much. They. I mean, LAFC. I mean, don't get me wrong. They've done a lot of good stuff. Let me drink. You, know, they, you guys have done. You know, you guys have got a cute little stadium. You guys. You know. You, 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 you have, you have some nice jerseys. You guys do some stuff, you know, off the pitch. The community. But when it comes down to it, what have you guys done on the field? Um, we're uh, young. 
were you, were you, were you young? Five years, five years old. That's pretty old, dude. No, no. Uh, you're, you're like what, 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 uh, what uh, year did uh, LA Galaxy win their first championship? Six years. So hopefully we win the championship this year because I feel like we are first to one. Y'all got, got a new coach? They, they got the first to five. I'm going to say right now LAFC wins first to one. Oh, I like that. First to one? No, because like their whole thing, their whole spiel is like Galaxy's like first to five, we won first to yeah, five. Yeah, they're the first team yeah, with five yeah, MLS Cups. Exactly. Cup. So, but it took him six years to get to get their first. First to one doesn't make sense because... It does make sense. Think about it. It took him six years to win one championship. So, they don't even know what I do with my hands right there. But I mean, six, uh, six years to win one championship. So... If LAFC First to would, one doesn't make sense though. It mean it means that we won a championship before they they it took them six years to win right. one championship. Okay, I understand that part. So, you don't have to explain that part. No, it's just math. It's one plus one equals two. No, 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 no. You don't have to explain that. So the first to one. All right, that's is, cool. is, what, what, first to one what? Yeah, first yeah, to one championship? Because yeah, there's a whole bunch 90, of teams that have won one 26, championship. Twenty six years. 26. And you guys haven't even won it yet. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about us, sweetheart. Don't worry about that. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> don't, don't worry about, about it, sweetheart. Don't, don't worry about, about it, sweetheart. No, but like I feel like the what LAFC did right, um, and this is the only thing I, the only knock I have on LA Galaxy, I do not dislike them like that, but right. the only thing is like, they did have that Hispanic market once they came mm, in. Right. They had a Cienfuegos, uh, right. Campos, yeah. uh, Hernandez, like, right. they had a great, El Tanque Hurtado, man, they had a good, uh, that good uh, Latino support, but I feel like they shied away from it, and then mm. LAFC came and they just, they did it right. They yeah. did it right. And they, and they they didn't forget us. I feel like they forgot us for a bit, which they they were trying to get stars. So I get what they were trying to do. Mm-hmm. But the guys were trying to do trying to get big stars. So you thought, so you're saying uh, that in the uh, suburbs of Carson, it, it just felt a little bit more suburban, suburban kind of soccer. So yeah, soccer LAFC modeling. came in. They said, you know what. All these hood fans that you've well, been... Because you know, what, you know what they did? They just took all the Chivas USA fans and, and they put in. <laughs> I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I think that's a really smart thing that they did. It's, it's I think it's, it's, it's an absolutely genius <laughs> thing that they did. All right, so you but know what, that's, you know what, you know what Chivas is in English, right? I actually don't. I'm goat. So LAC is the goat. <laughs> Shout out to the goats. <laughs> Shout out to the goats, but, LAC. But listen, 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 listen. The Chivas versus Carson, that banter, that's some of the lowest tier. Because I see that on, on, on... I don't get it, though. Bro, so they they call LAFC Chivas 2.0, and then um, LAFC's response to that is you guys are in Carson, and that's it's literally just that, back and forth, back and forth on Twitter, on Reddit, wherever, and that is to me the lo- like we got to come up with something better. It's been it's definitely, been definitely definitely it's can. been what four or five years now. Like we've got to come up with something a little bit better. Um, but I'll, t- I'll tell you this, you know, you know what? Uh, I was I was like you, and you know what? What won me from LAFC? What's that? At thirty two fifty two, man. Yeah. So one of the yeah. best MLS. I don't care. All right, all right. We 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 can't even debate about this. It's it's on articles. It's yeah. everywhere. Portland. Yeah. Right. Uh, Atlanta. Atlanta. I heard Miami's having a having a Miami. They, they, I mean, they got some good yeah. things there. They got but some good things. But LAFC, like everybody comes to LAFC and they, they don't talk about oh la la la. They talk about their fans. Right. It's crazy. They it's scream. They, they so scream. so what LAFC brought to um that to LA is LA Galaxy. They were. I mean. You know, Chivas was here for a little bit, but I mean, they weren't really competing with LA Galaxy. Not at all. So LA Chivas Galaxy, USA so LA Galaxy was... got a little bit complacent. Yes. you know what I mean. So, they so did. they they were the only they were they were the guys in town. And they were winning. They were winning. They, a lot. they didn't have anyone. You know, they didn't, they weren't looking over their shoulders. They had anymore. Beckham, and then, I mean, they, they they had a lot of good players. Beckham, they, they were great. Beckham were was great. a fashion icon for years, right? And then he comes to the uh, the United States. Well, he was still good. He came to the United States. Not, right. I mean, he was still kind of in his prime. I mean, he, he was like he was thirty one, maybe like early thirties, like thirty, thirty one. Yeah, but so so Galaxy, they they didn't have the competition that could take them to the next level. Definitely. and I think that's what LAFC did. LAFC kind of saw some things. They had an advantage coming into the game a little bit later than LA Galaxy did, where they could they could see what LA Galaxy did right, but they could also see what LA Galaxy was missing. And I think LAFC, to give them credit, Definitely. they did an amazing job they did of a great building job. an atmosphere um, with that stadium, with that standing um, faci- uh, that standing it's section, 3252, uh, yes. 3252 section that now LA Galaxy has in the Victoria Block in their you, stadium. You know what? You know what they did? It's like, it's like the the Lakers in the eighties. They have right. they, they have they, that they, they made sure they they celebrities are going all the time. Uh, they have they, they the have lights. They the wanted lights. To make the showtime. So they they wanted the app because the atmosphere and a stadium. It's amazing. Is, it, that is an incredibly important part of because you don't want. I mean, have you been to a Clipper game lately? When's the last time you went to a Clipper game? Uh, uh, last time I slept eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. 
a Clipper game no, versus no, the Lakers. Like, so okay. the lighting is all messed up. Yes, it's. I mean, the fans are still there, and the, the Clipper fans. I mean, they're they're diehards. Like they're. I mean. You have to give them credit. So, all right, but, the only thing about but, Clipper fans, but, wait, I got I to get this right, out of my chest. Go ahead, go ahead. All these all these people say, I'm a Clipper fan since I was growing up. Let me tell you why you're a Clipper fan growing up. Because your dad couldn't afford Laker tickets. I'm going to leave it all at right, that. man. We're not, we're not here to, to <laughs> we're not price shaming. <laughs> no, boy. I'm joking. We're not price shaming. <laughs> no, that, but yeah, you can, up, $3 bro. tickets, you can't beat that, man. You can't, but at They're the same on Groupon, time, I think for right low-key though, the, some of those Clippers teams, I think the 06 team, when the Lakers missed the playoffs, they made it. Corey McGetty. Corey McGetty. Um, uh, Katino uh, Mobley. Katino. That's what was there. There you go, cat. man. I don't. Katino Mobley was nice. Uh, Elton Brand. Left -handed, he was a left handed shooter, correct? Yeah, he was a lefty. Um, Elton, El Brand. Elton Brand. Chris ba Kamen. Baron that's Davis. Did he leave? Uh, so he was there a little bit. He was there later. He was there later. He was kind of washed. He, he was kind of chubby. Baron he's Davis, a he's a LA point. kid. Shout out to the Crossroads. LA. Shout out. Crossroads is a good school at one point. Yeah. I mean, is that, that's a private school, right? Private school. You went to private school. Shout yeah. out to Eminem. Shout out! Uh, no, nah, we're, <laughs> we, we're, we're not shouting out Eminem here. I, I, won't, I will not stand for that. But, <laughs> but so what I'm saying is, the clip the clip the atmosphere in the Clippers Stadium, or a, it's still Staples Center, but the fans are loud. The fans are active. They know what's going on. But it's just different when compared to a Laker game because that that atmosphere is different. The Laker game is a party. Uh, Clipper game. Is the more light uh, for me, the biggest thing is the lighting. You have the mm. banners, all that stuff. Um, and so LAFC did a really good job of of making that atmosphere in the stadium uh, top notch. It's it's just phenomenal. Definitely. And now LA Galaxy, what that's so it's only good. It's only good things that's so Galaxy. They, um, I mean, you know, LAFC fans are gonna say, oh, they copied us, they copied us, but whatever, dude. Like you're making you're making the soccer scene here in LA that much better. Definitely. Um, by adding the Victoria Block, I mean the the stadium is rocking. Um, when it comes to the, the El Trafico derby matches, no matter where it's at, whether it's at the bank yeah. or it's at uh, uh, Dignity Health, um, yeah, those, those games can get a little crazy. Not the only thing I dislike about the rivalry. Uh, it's okay to talk mess back and forth, but I, I've seen it go down really bad. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Sometimes it, it is can embarrassing. never. It could never be me. I could like. Um, there, there are certain. Like I'm not a uh, like you know me. I, I will not fight. Uh, I'm not. There are certain times where you have. Don't to fight try him. Look at him. Right. There are Don't certain times him. where you're gonna have chiseled to fight body him. goddess right, right there. Right. Yeah. Chiseled well, body. Okay, goddess. That's not, that's not. But there's there, the chiseled body goddess. There are times where you're gonna have, you, you you have to fight someone. Right? Definitely. They they you know they, they no. spit on you whatever blah blah blah. So there is no reason why you need to be going to a a stadium to fight to watch a sporting like a professional sports event and get in a fight. Like, no, there, there, there's no reason it's, for that. It's a terrible look for everybody involved. Especially, yeah, especially um, like, all right, I get it. If they're paying your bills, probably, but I'm pretty sure they're not paying your bills. It's it's embarrassing. It's an embarrassing look, no matter uh, no matter where you're. I've never seen a Laker fan fight a Clipper fan. You've never seen that? I, not at the games. Yeah, I guess not. I guess then again, it's more Laker. That, that, it's those, more Laker fans. Those than rivalries. Stadium. Those. I mean, the LA, the Clippers Lakers rivalry. Um, I feel like I mean the Clippers have, have haven't lost to the Lakers in I don't know how I saw I just saw a stat. No, um, they beat us like the last I think the last nine games or something. Something like that. But I the mean, Lakers won the last championship before them. So yeah, I, don't care. I mean we, <laughs> we you gotta count the rings. You won right? the regular yeah. season. Wow. Right. right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So. Wow. So that rivalry I feel like is not as heated as yeah. Galaxy uh, LAFC. No, but from the get go I remember going. I think out of all the traficos I missed one and it was because my buddy was getting married. So we were in San Diego for a bachelor party, mm -hmm. the first one. I didn't know what to expect. I went to the second one. It was at Carson. Um, yeah, man, uh, I was walking with my with, with a girl I was dating at the time, mm -hmm. um, and I had my LAFC jersey, yeah. thinking it's MLS. It's not that serious. Right, right. Bro, I'm, on the way in, they were like, it, it, it was an issue. I'm like, wait, wait a, wait a minute. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> you're, you're getting mad over over MLS? Like, yeah. like I mean, and, and that kind of stuff like is is. Up to the point of you know physical altercations. Yeah, for no reason. That part, like all of that stuff, is good for the. It's 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 good for the game. Like you want to see fans get passionate about stuff. Up Trash to a talking, point. yeah, exactly. Up to, up to a certain three-year mama jokes. Let's keep it there, and yeah. then after that, right, and then you know, take a deep breath, <laughs> take a take deep a breath, step back, you know, relax. It's and, not that serious. And enjoy, enjoy the hot dog. Exactly. Enjoy the tacos, you get know the glizzy. I mean? Get the glizzy. You know, gobble that glizzy. <laughs> gobble the glizzy. And relax. <laughs> <laughs> Hey yo! <laughs> hey yo. yo! All right. Um. Yeah, I mean, so 
<laughs> no more glitzy talking. Yeah, talking. we 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 gone way <laughs> off topic, bro. We gone exactly. way off topic. I don't even know where we're talking about. No, but so back back to the thing. So yeah, but the thing with LAFC, what I like and enjoy about them, first of all, like they, the atmosphere. We going back to the atmosphere. That it just it's just one big party. One of the things that made me more of an LAFC fan. I went to high school across the street. Man Yard, mm. shout out to Man Yard. Shout, shout out to the Toilers. We got we got to fix our mascot. But um, Dorsey it, better. Dorsey. Shout out to Dorsey. <laughs> I, I, I live three houses away from Crenshaw High School, so shout out Crenshaw. Shout out Crenshaw. Um, but um, going back to that, LAFC, they just did it right. They made it seem like they no, they made it a great environment right. just to go watch a game. Besides the, those old Tropical games, when the Galaxy is not there, like that stadium is one one yeah. big party. Um, sunset. Shout out Sunset, man. Bro, that Sunset. That sun, I saw Kareem there one time. Did you? I saw Kareem Abdul Jabbar walking out of Long's Drugs right now. Uh, once. All right. And I it was a long it was, it was a long time. It was back when Long's Drugs was still a thing. <laughs> and I remember just staring at him. And He's so thinking, tall. He got into like a beat up old Ford Explorer too. Shout out with saving your money. I know, bro. I <laughs> no, know. but yeah, going back to like the environment is just amazing. LA Galaxy. I've been to a lot of LA Galaxy last year. My friends make fun of me because I. Uh, I think every home game that LAFC didn't have one and LA Galaxy had one, I was at the game. Right. Um, but the environment is more relaxed. People are there really to... It's still, it still gets loud in there, though. Well, not the same. I don't know. Uh, don't kill me for these people, but I feel like LA Galaxy has two different uh, supporter groups. So, so, one so, else, and, it, right. and they don't get along. Am, am I mistaken? Yeah, so, so they have a Riot Squad, they have Angel City Brigade, and then they have uh, Galaxians. For, for LA Galaxy and I know they have two different sections um, because for, they don't get along from what I've no, from what I, I, heard. I, I can't speak to the politics in, 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 in between um, the, the supporters groups but uh, I do agree that LAFC did a good job in making mm-hmm. sure that you know while there are still you know different there's the Cuervos there's the Luckies there's uh, you know uh, D9U um, and, and, and so forth but they all come under the, the 3252 flag 3250, yeah it's just um, one big fan base and, and so they, and so they with, stop screaming but LA Galaxy has made efforts to kind of you know unite all three of them under the Victoria block uh, I don't know but, how but, 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 but when you try to be cool doesn't it look corny I mean they don't try to be cool though they're not trying to be cool if anything LAFC if, got it bro if anything LAFC is trying to is doing no, too much no not at all Bro, you guys had like if you, guest if you go jeans. To, hey, you guys are doing some guess. like a whole bunch of like, and I'm not saying that's bad. Like, These are all good stuff for the game. No, but yeah. But I mean, if there's if there's a team that's trying to be cool, and not, I'm not saying that trying to be they're cool they're not is a trying. Bad thing. Just, sometimes when you're cool, you're just cool. Yeah, but you can't be cool without trying to be cool. <laughs> See, I'm when you're trying to, no, 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 so, so no, 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 no. Listen, listen. When hey, you're trying, hey, to girls, cool, I'm cool. Like, no, no, no. you want to date me? Okay, I'm the coolest guy at school. Yeah. Oh my god, look at my backpack. That's one strap. Yeah. That's trying to be cool and failing. That's trying to be cool and failing. That's different. Exactly. You're, but you you have to try to be cool to be cool. I, right? I can see where you're going with right? that. So so trying to be cool and failing, that's when you look corny. So they're not failing though. They're not. I, I won't say they're failing, but they're trying to be cool. And you, but you're you, you're saying oh my Galaxy's god, doing some, no, it's a Galaxy. No, Galaxy. Galaxy. Shout out to Galaxy. They're, they've they done, had the first Salvadorian in the league. Oh, uh, Sam yeah. Vegas, shout out to Sam Bro, that, he's a baller. But so, I think Galaxy's since LAFC came into the league, Galaxy's done a better job of connecting to the community. Definitely, definitely, they uh, have. They reached out to Cousin Feo. Uh, shout out to Cousin Feo. Um, you know, he's done some some really cool stuff with them. He just did a, a, a promo for uh, EA Sports. And uh, they, uh, uh, sorry if I ruined their name. Uh, I think AFJA. It's AFJA, a nonprofit, right? Yeah, yeah. A non-profit. So that's El Salvadorian, Salvadorian too. man. Yeah. They're doing they're doing a lot of great things. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, they did, but uh, the, only, the only thing I'm saying they, they lost the community for so many years, and I think LAFC capitalized on that. Yeah, and, and good it, for them. Good for them. But and now they got a lot of ground to make up. They still do, and but my biggest thing is that's when you know when they start saying you know LAFC is 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 or uh, LA it's, LA's team is LAFC. That, that's just false. That's just false. Galaxy technically, have been technically, here. Galaxy tec- have been here. No, yeah, yeah, no, no, they're, no. They're that's, tor- that's Torrance. That's Torrance. That's Torrance. That's not Torrance. Bro, Torrance, Torrance is a leg. Oh, Car- Carson, whatever. Right, we're not. Carson. We're not. We're not getting. No, yeah, but- we can't have. We can't be having. Uh, this bull, the, the, this this bullshit. The no, no, Carson. I'm sorry. Car, the, the Carson Chivas 2.0. We're no, so, we're so we're, we, we're we gone gone dead from now on. We're, we're dead. Do not now refer to LA Galaxy as Carson. Refer to them as Cal State Dominguez Hills because they're in the campus of Cal State Dominguez Hills. Shout out to the Toros. <laughs> Shout out to the alumni. Man, great school, great programs. 
Shout and out to everybody that graduated and walked through. Them being on that um, campus has opened a lot of doors for a lot of young young soccer players. Ask Kai, ask Kai Kamara, one of the leading scorers in MLS history, was working <laughs> at. He went to Cal State Dominguez. I can't even say his name. So let's go to the next topic. <laughs> bro, don't disrespect Kai Kamara like that, bro. Come on. I'm playing. Shout out to him too. Yeah, I mean he Kai he's Kamara. he's one of the best players in MLS history. I mean he's he's maligned. You know he's he's the, there's you know criticisms about his game too, but. At the same time, he's he's like he's he's still playing today. He was playing for Sierra Leone and Afcon. Oh man! Um, so I mean, shout out to him, Augustine Williams, LA Galaxy guy was also. Augustine Williams, too. I remember him. Yeah. So, um, you know, you can't. He came to the base a few times. Yeah, yeah. yeah shout that's out right. to him, that's man. Right. Yeah, he's going to La Zona Rosa. <laughs> he did take. <laughs> he wow, to the Rosa. Wow. Shout out to La Zona Rosa. After a baller night, bro. Man, great times. Those are long nights. We need to bring the base back. Uh, hashtag bring the base back. Well, well should I start it I off? I can't. I can't. I can't uh, spoil anything. But you know, hashtag bring the base back. Just I will. Tuned. I will start the hashtag. Start um, the hashtag. So follow me on my my Instagram, Monterosa Julio. Hashtag bring me the base back. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, all right. So I think that's a good place to, to, to leave off on. Um, we're going to wrap things up. You know, we, we've been, uh, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's been a great first episode. It's been an amazing time, man. It's going to be fun times with us. Shout out one more time to Maku. Thank you for the drinks. Um, real tasty. Go ahead and follow him. Can you give him the Instagram one more time? Yeah, drink Sewell. That's drink, D-R-I-N-K-S-O-O-L on, uh, on Instagram. Um, shout out to shout out to everybody for listening. If you made it this far, you know we really appreciate you. We hope you stay on uh, stay with us on this journey. Uh, we're really excited to be back. Uh, we got a lot of great things coming up for you, so uh, we hope you stay tuned. Uh, shout out to shout out to Roy Cho, our producer. Shout out Roy. Shout out to Carter that and Alex mullet. from Believe. That mullet from Roy. That the, the mullet from Roy. Shout out to Carter and Alex from Believe and the Believe Podcast Network. Shout out to LA Tinos. That's family right there for the, family, for the studio man. space. Shout out FIFA, but man, the space. Yeah, shout out Real man. 90s vibe. Yeah, man. I mean, it, the vibes are immaculate. And Amazing. That's, and that's what we're bringing to you. So, um, you know, we hope you stay with us. You know, we got a lot more in store for you guys. Um, but in the meantime, you know, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see you next time. Thank you for coming out, enjoying the podcast. Please like, subscribe, and yes. share yeah. it to all your friends. Yeah, yeah. Like, give it subscribe. to your girlfriend, send it to your girlfriend, send it to your side chick send it to everybody man yeah leave us a rating five star rating uh if, if you if you want to leave a review uh don't be afraid to roast us mostly him hey, man. Uh, you know if, if you leave a good one we'll we'll read it no, on yeah, air definitely. we'll read, if, it, we'll if, read if, it on air if you're funny i'll give you i'll, I'll come back with a great mama joke yeah <laughs> what is what are you woman woman bro hey, you, the, minute, the minute you, i can't get back this yo mama's so fat <laughs> all right all right thanks guys for listening <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see you guys we'll wrap time. it up at that point <laughs> have a good one <laughs>